Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a drum machine using chains. The importance of this is it's going to give you the ability to select from different sounds within your kit. Let me go ahead and explain a little further. I've got this kit here that I set up. And this kit has eight cells or eight different places for samples. And each of these cells carry multiple sounds. So there's like 40 or 50 kick drums, uh, 60 or 70 snares, and so forth. Hi-hats, open hi-hats. So when I'm making a drum part, let me just go ahead and play this little generic pattern here. I can open this up, solo each part, And now that I've assigned knobs to each of these macros, which are assigned to chains that I've created, I could choose what kick sound I want. Notice here that this is moving and also over here, this is moving. And when I find that sound, I can move on to the next. and move on. Go on to my snare. If I click on the snare, you can actually see. And so forth. And basically this is part of my new Ultimate Drum Machine collection and this is included in that. But I wanted to show you how you could make these yourself with your own samples as well. So let me show you how this works. You're going to start off with a drum rack instrument. And then what you're going to do, and what I've done here is I've just done a search for kicks. And I could go through meticulously and try to figure out which kick, kicks I want to add. But just for this example, I'm going to use whatever comes up. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag one kick into the cell. And then I'm going to open this up here. Okay, great. So there's my kick sample there. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to group it. And there we go, we've made a group. And now what we can do is grab more samples and drop them into here and they're all going to go into this same pad here. So let's just grab all of these. Okay, so now we've got all of our samples, but the problem here is when I hit this, it's probably going to be incredibly loud because it's going to play all the samples at the same time, like so. But the trick here is, first thing we're going to do is make sure the key goes all the way across here. This is all done. That's fine. Velocity, we've got that full. That's great. And now, most importantly, we're going to go to our chain. And what we're going to do is each of these is just a different uh, chain location. All of these are playing at the same time at the moment. But we're going to highlight all of these kicks. And then we're going to look for that bracket right there and pull. That's going to put them all the way across like so. And then once we've done that, we're going to right click and distribute ranges equally. OK. Now it's made a different chain location for each sample. So depending on where in the chain you've moved your knob from here to here is what sample is going to be selected. So now what I can do is assign this to a macro. So I'm going to assign the chain to macro 1 
oops, right here, chain selector. And then I'm going to assign that to macro one here on the outside. So now when I move this, it's going to move that as well. And I could go ahead and name this, give it a little color there, and name this kick one. Now I'm going to go over to my MIDI, click on this chain here, and then just twist my knob. There we go. So I've assigned my knob to this. And I'll just simply pop in a basic 4 4 drum beat just for simplicity's sake. And I'll turn that one off. There we go. And now when I twist my knob, it will select between all my samples. So what you essentially do, you repeat the, the steps here, and you can basically have a uh, preset where you've got all sorts of different kit sounds, and you could build your drum kits really, really easily. So I hope that helps you in uh, building your beats.